Well, Bharat Biotech has concluded the final efficacy analysis for its vaccine, Covaxin. Efficacy analysis demonstrates that India's indigenous vaccine against COVID is 77.8% effective against symptomatic COVID after evaluation of 130 confirmed cases. The data released by Bharat Biotech also revealed that the vaccine is 93.4% effective against severe symptomatic COVID. Bharat Biotech has said the final efficacy analysis shows that Covaxin provides 63.6% protection against asymptomatic COVID cases and offers 65% protection against the Delta variant, which has been found responsible for the surge of cases in the second wave in India. The data was released by the company after conducting trials at 25 sites across the country. We are proud to announce our summary of phase three efficacy trial done in India. Covaxin demonstrated 78% vaccine efficacy against mild, moderate, and severe COVID-19 disease. The efficacy against severe COVID-19 disease was 93%, resulting in reduction of hospitalization. The efficacy against asymptomatic COVID disease was 63%, a marker believed to limit infection and transmission. And also the efficacy against Delta variant is 65%. It's a momentous day for everyone at Bharat Biotech as we announce the final phase three results of Covaxin and its efficacy at 77.8% today. We earnestly thank our clinical trial sites, the international CRO, and each and every one of the participants who have reposed their faith in Covaxin. Well, India has given emergency approval to U.S. pharmaceutical giant Moderna's vaccine against COVID-19. So how effective is Moderna's COVID vaccine? And when is it really going to be available in the country? How is it different from others? All queries addressed here. Take a look. Covishield, Covaxin, Sputnik V and now Moderna. All of these vaccines have been added to the list of COVID vaccines that are going to be used in India against COVID-19. These are four vaccines that are our weapons against COVID-19. Well, in the fight against coronavirus, the Indian government has permitted emergency use authorization to Moderna, which is a vaccine that has been developed by a US-based pharmaceutical company. With approximately 94.1% efficacy, Moderna is going to be the fourth jab to be approved in India. According to government health panel, Moderna is going to be available in Indian markets in just few weeks from now and will be administered in two doses. The US drug maker has also agreed to donate few doses of this vaccine to India. Cipla is going to be supporting Moderna with regulatory approvals and there is no agreement just yet on commercial supplies at this stage. Currently, Moderna is authorized in countries like United States, Canada, the European Union, the United Kingdom, Israel and Singapore. So how does this vaccine really work? Moderna's working relies on the messenger RNA platform, which is a genetic material that our cells read to make proteins. After being injected into the body, Moderna releases messenger RNA or mRNA. The cell's molecules read the sequence and build spike proteins. These spike proteins in turn build spikes that move to the surface of cells and protrude out their tips. The immune system recognizes these protruding spikes and the fragments generated by vaccinated cells by breaking up the proteins. The mRNA which was released by the vaccine is eventually destroyed by the cells of the body. When immune cells known as B cells collide with the spikes on the protein fragments, some of them lock onto these spike proteins. All they need now is activation by helper T cells after which they start generating antibodies that target the spike protein. You may ask if Moderna is effective against Delta variant or the Delta Plus variant, given the fact that the Delta variant right now is wreaking havoc in more than 85 countries outside of India. Well, in a clinical update, the company found that the vaccine shows promising results against the Delta variant, which was first sequenced in India. Its efficacy against Delta Plus, which is a lineage of the Delta variant, is still under research now.